Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a sort of quick video giving my opinion on something that's been kind of weighing down on me and it's something that I feel like needs to get out there or else one, it will be weighing on me forever and that's not good and two, I really think I need to express my opinion on this because it's a, on a topic that's really serious and it involves the makeup and uh, pro black blogger uh, I am Eloho and I remember I am Eloho from the viral video Mac vs Sephora and you know a month or so ago she did a video basically congratulating Tory Lanez on his so-called uh, defense of a dark-skinned model in a way to promote or bring light to the issue of colorism and two days later or not even two days later it was came it came out that he stage this situation for a publicity stunt. Not too long after he put out a video of a white model twerking and commented on that video, basically saying that he would trade Aisha Curry for that girl. So after it was found out that this was staged, I Am Eloho came again and instead of admitting she was wrong or instead of taking the video down like she says people were trying to get her to take down, uh, she came and she doubled down on her opinion. Now, granted, it is her channel, it's her opinion and everything like that, but I just have to say that I am very, 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 very disappointed in you, I am Eloho. I am so disappointed in you as a black woman and as a dark-skinned woman and as someone who is now trying to take the issue of colorism seriously. Not even just now, for a long time, but, you know, upon hearing how serious this is, as a dark-skinned woman, as something that can, it can affect, as a person that colorism can affect, I would think you would be better than that. Eloho comes on and she doubles down and says, hey, this is an unpopular opinion. Tory Lanez was telling the truth. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, you call yourself a pro-black page and you, instead of you, you know, saying Tory Lanez, you were wrong for using our plight as a way to gain publicity just after you did something very problematic or said something problematic. And the model came out and she spoke up about it and said she was on set that this whole video came out two, three months ago and now he's putting it out. I'm actually going to play something for you guys and this is her video basically doubling down on the whole Tory Lane situation. Now I'm going to say this, my gut, like my gut gut, like my gut gut gut, which I really never really listen to, never steers me wrong. My gut 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 was like, Eloho, don't take that video down. Okay, your gut 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 was wrong. All this my gut 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 thing sounds like a pure blown exaggeration. My gut 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 gut. You said gut like way too many times, girl. Like, calm down. I got up early this morning because it really was weighing on me. Like, why would Tory Lanez, what, like, why would he lie? Why would he make that up? However, I personally feel like whether it was staged or it was not staged, that is an actual message that needed to get across to the masses. That's a message that artists need to understand about their work and their music videos and their songs. They need to understand that they are actually also perpetrating colorism when things like this happen on set and nothing is done to resolve it. So when the narrative was spun to be that, oh, this was staged, I honestly did not have a problem with that being staged. So I find it funny. You don't have a problem with this being staged. Like, really? Really? Look, I understand if this was like a music video about the issue of colorism instead of a scenario that happened in real life on set that he wanted to look like a hero for and he staged this, there's a difference. That is a, a different thing. I'd rather you use art to imitate life or rather you use art to talk about a serious situation that's happening in life. But when you do something problematic like a few days ago or a week ago and then come out like you're some type of hero, then that's a problem. Because the message is still the message. The message is still very much valid. Now, what I do felt is that if it was staged, because they're on set, right? They're on a stage. They're putting on a show. That's what a music video is. So they're on the stage. My thing, my only thing was that I just wish that if it was staged, that Tory Lanez would have conveyed that narrative to his models so that they were aware that, hey, this is the message that we're trying to get across. Can y'all just take part in this little scene real quick? We could throw it up. And cool. So I'm watching the darker skin models Instagram. And I, and I you know, I see her post. 
And I'm going to just keep it all the way 100 with y'all. I'm not trying to be rude, discredit, or belittle her experiences or what she did experience, what she did actually go through. I'm going off of my opinion based on what I saw and what my gut, gut told me. Now, from what I'm seeing, she's posting saying, oh, you know, Tory Lanez was lying. This was staged at the Shade Room, at Gossip and the City, at T-Blogs. Like, and she just started tagging every gossip blog out there so basically she wanted to get this information out there that Tory Lanez was lying so I reached out to her as you guys know I showed you the screenshot I reached out to her and I'm like hey you know I have a pro-black channel I talked about this video on my channel would you mind talking to me briefly about what actually happened you know I don't have a blue check on Instagram I'm not like I don't have millions of subscribers and millions of followers but I do have a lot of followers who were really invested in this story I'm not verified on Instagram or anything like that so maybe that just made my platform not seem as valid or you know what I mean I don't know and she responded and she said that her her management wasn't allowing her to do any interviews. Fine, I respect that. I completely understand that because sometimes your management will have certain restrictions on you. However, I then looked at it a little side-eye-ish because I'm like, well, if your management is telling you that you can't do interviews, which basically means you cannot talk about it, why are you tagging every single gossip blog and why is every post about the situation? You get what I'm trying to say? So it's like you're telling me basically that you can't put the messages out there, but you're still putting the messages out there. Okay, honestly, here's what it is. Before I play the next clip, I just basically want you to hear for yourself. I don't think she's trying to make it make sense. I believe that she's just a little bitter because the model would not reach out to her, okay? Yes, I understand, you know, why is it when a small blogger wants to reach out to you and someone with a good platform wants to reach out to you and get your side of the story, you want to tag the shade room and Hollywood Unlocked and all other types of stuff, but when, you know, a black blogger wants to reach out to you, uh you know, it's crickets or your management team can't reach out to you. And someone in her comment section said, well, she started tagging all the other big blogs first and then, then her management team told her, just, just cut that out. But I think what you are, Eloho, is that you're just bitter that this model didn't come and do an interview with you. You're wanting the messages to hit the gossip blogs, but a pro-black blog can't get the story. That's, that's, that's what I got from it. Maybe I took it a little personally, Yes, but you did. You from. definitely like, took it okay, personal. That's just what it is. It, but you want the shade room to repost you. I'm just saying. So that did make me kind of side eye. Just the message that was supposed to be conveyed is now in shambles. Nobody cares about colorism anymore. And the message is, oh, Tory Lane is a fraud. Not too many people cared about colorism before. And I understand because he is someone, especially a black man in our community, with a platform, it makes sense. Like, putting something as serious as colorism on a, a platform to bring awareness to it, yes. But this is definitely a case of the right message, wrong messenger. I am so disappointed in you, Eloho, that you are basically going to take crumbs from somebody. Oh, Tory Lanez is, pa is pandering to black women. Oh, Tory Lanez is colorist. But nobody's looking at the message. First of all, we don't need a fake message for someone to look at the message, okay? That just makes us look pathetic because guarantee you, Eloho, you would be saying the same thing about how white Democrats, white liberals, and, you know, the liberal party in general, and people like to pander to us as black women to get our votes, to get on their, to get uh, on our good side. You would be doing the same thing saying, oh, they're just giving us crumbs and pandering to us. You would not stand for this. I know for a fact, if it had been a white person who did something problematic not too long ago before they put out a campaign about anti-racism and anti-colorism, you would not be standing for this. You would probably drag them for the filth and read them for the filth. But because this is Tory Lanez and because you did all that caping for him in his in your first video and now that you're embarrassed, let's just be honest, you're so embarrassed that you caped for him and that you had his back and that you practically cheered him on for doing the bare minimum and you're embarrassed. So instead of you taking down your video, you do what I notice a lot of black folks do when they're embarrassed. They double down, they deflect, they sweep it under the rug, they don't say anything, they'll try to take your mind off of something else. And to be honest, I am very, very glad that most of the people in your comments section are disagreeing with you because you call yourself a pro-black page and you want to talk about racism, white supremacy, and all the stuff involved in that on your page. You want to talk as if you're so woke, but you're taking pandering and you're taking a stunt based on uh 
him getting a message out there. Like, you seem better than that. I've watched a bunch of your videos. I've watched a couple of your videos. I haven't subscribed yet, but honestly, this video right here is kind of a setback for me subscribing because I feel like you are much smarter than that. I feel like you are wiser than that. I feel like you are the type of person who will say, oh, I can sniff out the BS anywhere. But you're going to say, oh no, this was a message that needed to be uh, sent out there. And yes, he has a big platform. And yes, Tory Lanez, uh, someone like Tory Lanez and his platform, uh, it's great that he can put the message out there. But this is a case, again, of right message, wrong messenger. The message. The message. Sometimes you got to take the message and leave the messenger. But in this case, I did not see anything wrong that Tory Lanez did. Even if, again, even if he did stage it, he's on set. He's on stage. He's a performer. This is what music is all about, being on stage, performing. Okay, I just want to talk to you. It's not staged in a sense where this was a music video or this was an acting performance. It's not that type of stage. He pulled something that was done two, three months ago from when this came out, okay? So technically four months ago. But he did this, this situation happened a long time ago. And of course, according to the models, he wasn't feeling the dark skin model. He was not feeling the dark skin model, but he put this out there right after he talked about trading Aisha Curry for a ratchet white girl twerking to his music. You know what I'm saying? So I find it funny because guarantee knowing you, Aloho, you would not be standing for that. You will be talking about all the colorism. And I think you talked about Chris Brown. So it's funny how you're going to talk about colorism, but... Oh, we need the message out there. Oh my God. It seems like you're okay with being pandered to. Getting a message across. He's using his platform to get across this message that we need, that we've been screaming to get across. But then y'all will go and do videos saying, oh, we need men to do this. And we need men to do that. And then when they do it, you turn around and say, see, men don't do this and men don't do that. The deflection. See what I mean? The deflection. Eloho, admit it. You're embarrassed that you did all that caping for Tory Lanez. It blew up in your face. You have the egg on your face and you're embarrassed. Just admit it. This has nothing to do with, oh, the message got out there. The, the message got out there. We need to remove the messenger from the message or we need to remove the message from the messenger because at least it got out there. I told you, I guarantee, and I'm going to say it again, I guarantee if this had been a white person, a white man specifically, and they had done something problematic or said something problematic in, in the past or in uh, prior, shortly prior to what they were doing in terms of like, Okay, per perfect example. We all remember the H&M controversy. We all remember the H&M controversy when that happened, okay? So with, with the sweatshirt, with the little boy in the sweatshirt saying coolest monkey in the jungle, and then everybody went off. Knowing you, Aloho, you would have probably went off on it, okay? But if they came out and said, say no to racism and, you know, anti-colorism, they did a staged anti-colorism thing, and just like Tory Lanez did, you wouldn't be standing for it. You would be pulling out all the receipts talking about, oh, here's the times where you have been problematic, so this is just pandering. No, you wouldn't be standing for that. But because you cape for Tory Lanez and you're embarrassed and don't want to admit it, then now it's, oh, the, separate the messenger from the message. At least the message is out there. And I'm going to play you a little clip. She's talked about how the model should have just been okay with it and taken one for the team. Now, if that was me in that situation, and this is just me, I'm just one unicorn. If that was me in that situation, and I know that that's not actually what happened, what took place, but that was the message, I would have took one for the team. But that's just the type of person I am. I was just kind of like, but sis, this is a good message. This is a good time to talk about this. And I would have used that as leverage i would have used that to get even i mean if she did want more clout and publicity i would have used that to get more publicity for myself and for my brand like yep i'm the dark skin girl in the video you know this is true this is the message that we're putting out there please let's continue to support all women of color so you are okay with taking one for the team uh according to a lot of people in your comment section and this is true black women have been taking it 
for the team, have been taking one for the team for the longest. And we've been taking breadcrumbs from people thinking under the guise that we are actually getting something in return, that our plight is finally being recognized, our plight is finally being, you know, acknowledged. No, Eloho, again, you're embarrassed that you cape for Tory Lanez and the fact that this may be staged never true and he's trying to save face from his colorist past, then... That's the only reason you are caping for him now. You're doubling down because you are embarrassed. That's what it is. And instead of admitting it, instead of just admitting it and saying, God, I was bamboozled, I was fooled, I think you would have been appreciated a lot more had you just been honest and said that you are embarrassed and that you can't believe you were being taken for a fool instead of just trying to exaggerate and nitpick at little things that you found positive about this. Oh, perfect example. This was a white person doing this. Again, and if this was a white-owned brand or company doing this, you would not be standing for it. Remember when H&M sweatshirt controversy happened and the mother came out and doubled down and said, you uh, people are just being over dramatic. get over it, stop it. When the Dove model after the Dove controversy came out and said, oh no, it's not racist. I've been lucky to be afforded an opportunity to be like Dove's face or a dark skinned black girl for Dove. So it seems like you're gonna do the same thing, Eloho. And I guarantee you would have called that dark skinned girl out. You would have called the mother out for doubling down and defending that white owned brand that made us look bad. But you're saying, oh, I would have done it because I'm an influencer and I would. So basically you would just take crumbs. I bet if it wasn't from a white person, because I guarantee if I was that model or if I was, uh, or if there was another dark skinned black model or any black person, person of color caping for a brand that staged something after being problematic or caping for a brand because at least it got a message out there, you wouldn't be standing for it. You would be reading them for filth. So none of this has anything to do with the message. If, if by that logic, because you're not sending a good example to black people and black women. You're basically saying, hey, I would have gotten more clout and publicity for myself. So by that logic, all black women need to take the crumbs. All black women need to go some, uh, do something that's problematic so they can get more clout and publicity. All black women need to be on their Omarosa thing. You know, they need to be on their Omarosa ish for clout and publicity by any means necessary, by that logic. You see how problematic that is? You saying, I would have taken one for the team. But I guarantee if we would have take one, took one for the team in a sense of like an Omaroso or Stacey Dash in a certain way and they call it taking one for the team, you wouldn't stand for it. What is the issue? And I had to start thinking outside of just being a dark skinned woman. You know what I mean? I had to think bigger picture. So you had to start thinking outside of the box. You had to start thinking outside of being a dark-skinned black woman. I want to know if any black woman with a big platform, if they came on and if they said I had to start thinking outside of being a dark-skinned black woman or a black woman, guarantee, again, you would drag them for filth. If that Dove model who basically said it, she said that Dove ad was not racist, oh, I'm just so happy to be afforded the opportunity to be part of a Dove ad. You know, the mom caped for H&M after that controversy and said, guys, get over it. You know, she wants the coin from H&M. So wasn't she thinking outside of being a dark-skinned black woman wasn't that model thinking outside of being a, a black woman because she needs clout and publicity for herself so again eloho you're just embarrassed and i guarantee and you know what you look pathetic and, and this is not me bashing you or anything i actually don't have a problem with you but i just want to let you know how problematic you're being right now when you just tell black women or say you would take one for the team or you tell black women be okay with it because the message is getting out there. Because you wouldn't want any other black person with a platform like that. You would be dragging them for filth knowing that you claim to be so pro-black. So it, really what it is, again, this this is has nothing to do with the message. This has everything to do with the fact that you're embarrassed. You're bitter that that black model did not want to do an interview with you. And you're basically saying, I had to think outside the box. If that's the case, wasn't Amorosa 
technically thinking outside the box? Isn't Candace Owens technically thinking outside the box? Outside of just being a black person looking for herself? Because again, not all, again, not all money is good money. Not all representation is good representation. And I'm just so very, very disappointed in you as a black woman, as a dark skinned black woman, that you would stoop so low because you do not come off as that type of person. And you just look pathetic. You look like you would accept it. It, it seems like, and I've noticed this with some black women who call themselves being pro-black, they're okay with receiving the crumbs from black men, especially black men that they like. They're okay with receiving the crumbs as long as they feel that black people are being helped, but they wouldn't accept this from white folks. And I'm not saying we should, but at the same time, we should keep that same energy all around. So again, Eloho, I will say this again, you can get annoyed about this. You're just embarrassed and you don't like that feeling. So in your mind, let's double down so you can believe that you are still right, but you're not. And just admit that there is nothing wrong with admitting. This is why when I come on my, channel and my platform and I say things like oh I have an opinion about this or I believe this and that I always say correct me if I am wrong that's what I say because the last thing you want is to just talk all that talk and have the egg on your face and that's what happened with you Eloho because you do not seem you seem like a better person a wiser person you, you talk all this you know pro-black talk and there's nothing wrong with that but this is one of the reasons I got tired of so many so-called pro-black pages they just have a lot of mouth they just have a lot of mouth they just have a lot of mouth and talking points and even though they hold validity in the points that they make a lot of it seems very emotion not necessarily factual based not necessarily critical thinking based it really just seems like a bunch of people talking so again, Eloho, I'm just disappointed in you. I thought you were better than that. You sound better than that. It seems like you're just okay with um, just get, getting those tiny little crumbs. But if, a, if again, if a white company did this, you would be dragging them for filth. But because you didn't want to be wrong or didn't want to show that you were embarrassed and you've been bamboozled and led astray by Tory Lanez and you're bitter that that model didn't want to do an interview with you, now you're coming back to double down. And to be honest, and I am so glad that most of the people in your comment section are disagreeing with you. And I'm disagreeing with you too. You should be owning up to your stuff. Because I guarantee you want everybody else to do it. So, you know, if you're cool with being getting a handout because you want more publicity and, you know, clout for yourself, you're okay with getting the short end of the stick because you're so concerned about a message. Again, even though sometimes we should take away the message from the messenger, this is not one of those cases. Because did our problems get solved? Is colorism now over? Black women and uh, people who actually go through... Uh, colorism issues specifically dark-skinned women and dark-skinned black women who've been talking about this for a long time a man a black man like Tory Lanez can come out who has a colorist past and who has a problematic past can come out and say just one little thing write a paragraph online in a very choppy not so you know uh laid out video of something that was staged and say we need to talk about colorism everybody's welcoming welcoming him with open arms seriously You know what I'm saying? I'm just disappointed in you. You are much better than that. You seem much better than that. You seem much smarter than that. And you basically threw that away in this one video because you just did not want to come out and admit that you are embarrassed. That you did all that caping and you have the egg on your face. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Don't forget to check out the links down below. You can support me on Patreon. And um, yeah, uh, I will be coming back with more makeup tutorials because like I said, this page was intended for makeup. So thank you so much again and I will hope to see you in the next video.